Welcome learners, block 2 titled Andaman and Nicobar tribes consists of five units. It studies the five major tribes that are found in the Andaman and Nicobar island as well as their practices and customs that many do not know still. Unit 3 is about Jarawas of South and Middle Andaman. It talks about the life and cultures of the Jarawas as well as throws light on the threat and atrocities committed towards the Jarawa tribe. This unit is about the Jarawas of South and Middle Andamans, who are one of the five primitive tribes of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The Jarawas are one of the indigenous people groups of the Andaman Islands. They are one of the oldest surviving tribes of the world. The Andaman archipelago is home to the Negrito tribe called the Jarawa. Recent studies conducted by the Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology, Hyderabad, showed that this tribe settled down in the island some 60,000 years ago. The Jarawas, who are primarily hunter-gatherers, are among the most isolated communities in the world. Their numbers are fast dwindling, Planned and imposed development and overexposure to the outside world has introduced them to various diseases and addictive substances. This has also been responsible for the depletion of their resource base, threatening their very existence. The Jarawas are one of the four Negrito tribes of the Andaman Islands who inhabit the west coast reserved area of 765 square kilometers in the south and Middle Andaman Islands. Radcliffe Brown in the year 1948, who made an extensive study of the islands, observes that the Jarawas were the descendants of emigrants who at some point in time in the past made their way across from Little Andaman and thrust themselves upon the inhabitants of Rutland Island and the South Andamans, maintaining their footing in the new country by force of arm. The Aka Bia tribe of the Great Andamanis division had referred to them as the Jarawa or Yarawa, a name which is still in use. Their population is very small now. Their mother tongue is included in the Andamanis family of languages. They are monolingual and do not know any other language apart from their mother tongue, Jarawa. They have no system of writing. There is the concept of collective leadership among them and not individual. The 1981 census records did not show any religion stated by the Jarawa. The Jarawas live naked, but they decorate their bodies with clay paintings of innumerable designs. Their wooden buckets, chest guards, and bows are also ornamented with symmetrical zigzag or crisscross designs. Men, women, children paint their bodies with red ochre or white clay in various geometric patterns. This is a kind of folk art of some social significance. The male and female Jarawas both used to remain fully naked until recently. It is only now that they have begun to somehow cover their essentials. Sometimes strings made of bark and leaves are used as ornaments. The males use a special folded bark chest guard. They are short statured with a dark skin and frizzy hair. Steopegia is a typical feature of their women. The Jarawas live a carefree life. Some of the features of their life and culture can be described in this video. To begin with, let us understand their economy and food habits. Well said. The Jarawas are a hunting gathering community. They live a semi nomadic life. They are reported to have two major territorial divisions. They move in small groups within each territory for hunting and gathering food. They also engage in some traditional craft making, such as baskets mats, shell necklaces, and metal weapons. 
they live in groups of about 40 to 50 people as hunters and gatherers. The Jaravas are very fond of pork, turtle meat, eggs, fish, mollusks, roots, berries, tubers and honey. They are reported not to consume any alcoholic drink or narcotics. Of late, it is reported that some of them have developed a liking for coconut, banana and boiled rice, which they occasionally get from a team of officials from experts visiting their area to establish contact. They have no concept of personal property. When they visit the settlements, they pick food items. When they are on the roadside, they normally stop the vehicles and ask for eatables. Marriage and family. The Jaravas practice adult and monogamous marriage. Their smallest social unit consists of a nuclear family with a male, a female and their unmarried minor children. During the hunting and gathering expeditions, some of the families move together and each family gets a share of the catch. The items gathered by the members of a family are shared among them. There is a division of work among men and women. For instance, hunting, fishing and collecting honey are the men's jobs. They handle bows and arrows and spears. Place of women in the community. The women in the Jarawa community engage in small scale fishing with baskets. They also help in collecting roots and tubers. While their men traditionally wore the broad three-layered bark sheet covering their belly and chest, this type of bark sheet was not worn by the women or by any other Negrito tribe or anyone else in the Andaman Islands. The Jarawa women take active part in their economic activities except in hunting with a bow and arrow. They enjoy equal status with the Jarawa men which are manifested in their interactions with the non-Jaravas visiting their areas. Rituals of the dead. Very little is known about their life cycle rituals. They have been observed collecting small bones of the dead after the decaying of the flesh. One piece of the bone is hung by the relatives around the neck or waist. The symbiotic relationship between Jaravas and the reserve. Tribes symbiosis with nature and the sustainable nature of their economy had sustained them for centuries before their exposure to the intruders from outside. In order to preserve the Jarawa way of life and culture, a Jarawa tribal reserve was established over a 700 square kilometer area. Its objective was to keep the tribal population confined to the reserve as to prevent settlers from encroaching into it. The bush police was established. The police basically indulged in restricting the Jarawa to the reserve area. But many illegal encroachments have come up in the reserve areas with political patronage. Job seekers, settlers, who have come to the island are now serious contenders for allotment of house sites and agricultural land. Sekh Sarai claims that since the political system goes with the number, no political party is in a position to contradict its demands. There seems to be a lack of sensitivity and also an attitude of aggression that leaves the aborigines to be pushed to the brink. Threats to Charavas. These are real threats. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands are rich in natural resources. However, there is also a cutthroat competition to have control and management over them. It is difficult for the Andaman tribes to withstand the pressure of the outsiders who outnumber and outsmart them. They are becoming endangered species primarily due to rampant deforestation and environmental degradation. Thousands of hectares of forest cover have depleted in the past and it continues even today. 
As far as the Jarawas are concerned, their forests and resources on their territory were cleared by the settlers. The Andaman Trunk Road, ATR, was constructed cutting through the heart of Jarawa territory. Large-scale logging operations continue even today. The Jarawas, once the masters of the land, have been confined to a small 720 square kilometer reserve on the western coast. Thousands of hectares of deciduous forests have been depleted with adverse impact on the climate, health, economy, and culture of the people. The studies of the late 1980s show that there was soil erosion due to the indiscreet felling of the trees. Clearing of the trees resulted in the death of coral in the surrounding seas. All this resulted in a sharp decline in the numbers of the endemic species such as the Andaman wild pig, endangered sea turtles that nest on the island's beaches and the dugong that was once common in the coastal waters. The drive to develop the tourism industry to attract foreign tourists has serious impact on the life and culture of the tribes. Diseases such as epidemics of pneumonia in 1868 measles in 1877, influenza in 1896, and syphilis almost wiped the great Andamanis off. It is reported that in August 1999, there was an outbreak of measles and subsequent respiratory complications, including tuberculosis and conjunctivitis among the Jarawas. The main sources of the threats are the industries, trades, settlements, and so on. It is observed that due to the increasing human pressure on the islands and the continued encroachment into their territory, which is their prime hunting and fishing land, the Jarawas have started visiting the settlements. Meanwhile, the administration continues to allot land to settlers or legalize encroachments along the borders of the contested forest tracts. In case of the escalating tension between the Jarawa and the settlers, the administration admits that they are unable to do anything. The two groups are locked in a tussle over land rights and the atmosphere has been vitiated by some administrative policies of the past. The Jarawa are the original inhabitants of the land and they have the first right over this land, but not many people are ready to concede this. The solution of this problem requires tremendous political will. The contact efforts of the Andaman Adim Janjati Vikas Samiti, AJVS, anthropologists and police officials to establish friendly contact with the Jarawa community and leaving behind gifts of bananas and coconuts, tobacco, etc., have been looked by the critics as scattering rice to ensnare birds. They argue that these efforts are aimed at making them dependent on the administration. Let us summarize what we have highlighted in this video. This video features about the less known Jarawas of South and Middle Andamans who are one of the five primitive tribes of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. This video will enable our learners to have a general understanding of the Jarawas of the Andaman Islands and the extent of threats to the Jarawas' existence. Thank you.